What is that called? Jingguashu. Jingguashu. Yes. Is this where the prisoner of war camp was in Jingguashu? Right. Yeah. This whole area, Jingguashu, used to be a uh, PO, POW uh, camp. camp. Yes. yes. Camp was called the Kinkaseki POW camp. The gold mine shafts went all the way back down from there. about the, what I was talking about before, about the British prisoners of war. In 1945, the men were moved to another camp, south of Taipei, where they finished out the war until the Japanese surrendered. They survived on a diet of rice with a bit of vegetable and watery soup. The shrine is located next to tunnel number six. It was a small Japanese Shinto shrine. In, four, in 1942, 525 Allied POWs were brought here from Singapore after the island surrendered to Japan. And more than 1,100 British Commonwealth and Allied prisoners ended up slaving in this notorious Japanese camp until March 1945. They were subjected to cruel and inhumane treatment. This is the monument to the POW camp. Thousand men of the British Commonwealth and Allied forces who suffered brutal and savage treatment here and in nearby Kapperman and other places of Taiwan as prisoners of war. Again, none of us should ever forget. Kinkasiki prisoner of war camp. This is all that's left of the camp. The wall and gate post. According to the Taiwan POW Memorial Society, conditions in the mine and camp were as bad, if not worse, than those experienced by the POWs on the now famous Railway of Death in Burma and Thailand, made popular by the bridge on the River Kwai. Men were forced to march uphill behind the camp and down the other side to enter the mine. And then from there, they walked approximately 1.2 miles inside the mine to places so hot and dangerous that locals and Japanese miners refused to go there. If the men didn't meet the work quota, they were lined up along the mine shaft walls and beaten with hardwood handles of mining hammers until they were bruised and bleeding. All that took place in this town, in these mines.